What are the top five taco shops in San Diego? Find out next. Number five on the list of top five taco shops in San Diego is Taco Taco here in Poway, California. It's in a residential area of San Diego. If you're a tourist, it might be out of the way unless you're going to a place like Julian up in the hills, up in the mountains, or in Poway for some reason. Taco Taco is a place to be. I like it because of its quantity and the price. They have 99 cent fish tacos, and today's Cinco de Mayo, so we're gonna celebrate with Taco Taco. Let's go check it out. So we just picked up the tacos from Taco Taco. I got eight tacos for me and my parents. We're gonna review these tacos back home where it's nice and safe and you can't eat in there anyways. All right guys, so we're trying the adobada and the carne asada. Have a little Corona extra for Cinco de Mayo. Pop the lime in there a little bit. For this top five tacos videos, I'm gonna try to get a carne asada taco a uh, pork based taco, in this case it's an adobada taco, and then I'm gonna also try uh, a wild card. So it can be anything else. It could be seafood, it could be carnitas, uh, or whatever their special is uh, at each taco shop. But for this, I'm only gonna have the carne asada and the adobada, and then I might try the fish taco because I have extra fish tacos for 99 cents. For the quantity of what you're getting, you're getting a lot. I mean, this adobada taco and this carne asada taco are 195 each, and they pack in the meat, cilantro and tomatoes, and then they also give you some lime to drizzle on top. Now this is their hot sauce. They have a red and a green hot sauce. I never use green hot sauce if I don't have to. I go with the red. I'm gonna star this uh, two out of five peppers. I'm gonna rank each hot sauce for each taco shop. A really mild hot sauce. And we're gonna try the carne asada first. So let's drizzle that on there. There's so much meat in this taco that, yeah, it just overflows. I'm gonna have to get a fork to scrape off the rest of it later. Mmm. Now the carne asada is decent, but it's tasty because it's got a chipotle taste. The taco shell itself, eh, it's a decent size. This is a normal size street taco. For $1.95, yeah, good stuff. Next up, we're gonna try the adobada pork taco. Also a lot of uh, pork on here. They don't scrimp you on the meat. So that's what's really cool about this place. It was only a buck 95. Now this uh, adobada taco, has a little cilantro -y taste to it. The marinade on this pork is really good. I would rank this over the carne asada taco. So I'd go auto bottle first, then carne asada, and then you can go with the shrimp taco and then the fish taco. But I'm gonna do videos on a shrimp taco later on. So stay tuned for that. Wash it down with a Corona. Once you finish the taco, you gotta get a fork and eat the rest of this stuff. All right guys, so this isn't a fish taco video, but the third taco I happen to get at Taco Taco is the fish taco. Now the fish taco is actually pretty small, but for 99 cents you can't complain because you know it's still a decent piece of fish. You got tomatoes, lettuce, and some sour cream on this, and that beer battered fish. I mean you could down this easily, 99 cents, so you probably want to get two or three of them. But I would definitely say the adobada is the best taco. What did you think? Good. You're the one that introduced me to Taco Taco. Why do you like Taco Taco so much? Oh, it's different and it's cheap. A 99 cent fish taco. Fish taco. Right? So it's the fish tacos that are 99 cents all the time. You don't have to wait for any Taco Tuesday or anything. Now there are so many other taco shops in San Diego. Comment below and let me know what your favorite taco shops are and how your top five would differ from mine. Taco Taco is the place to go for value and quantity. You're not gonna beat a taco for $1.95 anywhere else for this much. On to the next one, on to number four. What's up, Jakeationers? We are here at number four on the list in La Jolla. Uh, there's three locations around San Diego, La Jolla, Encinitas, and downtown. We're at the Taco Stand. Now this is the original location and they're known for a bunch of their tacos and we picked up three of them. They're a little more on the pricey side, about $4 each, but these tacos are fantastic. I ordered it online, so they're ready to go. I'm gonna go inside and pick it up. So I ordered this online for pickup for two o'clock and it was ready to go. Three tacos in this paper bag. 
Now, this is great because you can come to the taco stand right after you visit La Jolla Shores, Wind and Sea Beach, and uh, the children's pool. So if you're visiting San Diego, this is a great place. Or if you're even living here in San Diego and you're around this area, the taco stand is here. Now, let's fast forward to JJ back at home so we can try this out. So we're now back here at my house in my backyard. We're now gonna try these tacos out. So going with the theme of this video, I got a carne asada based taco, the Sonora. I got the Camarón, which is the shrimp. And then I got a pork, uh, the Pastor taco. We're gonna go with the carne asada first. Now I'm gonna rank these from one to five chilies. So there's guacamole, there's beans, and some Angus beef on here. So let's try out the Sonora taco. It's on a flour tortilla and the rest are on corn. Mmm, carne asada is really juicy. Love the fresh guacamole on it. The hot sauce you can't really tell. So I'm gonna give this a, a two. I'll give it a two peppers on uh, the hot sauce level. I think there's also potatoes or like french fries or something in the bottom or a surprise french fry. Who knows, but it's good. I really dig the Sonora taco. The beans are not overpowering. It actually complements the meat and the avocado. You can also get the regular carne asada taco. Grab the last couple pieces and we're all done. All right, next up, we're gonna try the pork-based taco, which is the pastor. It's got cilantro, some sort of white sauce with it, onions, throw the hot sauce on there. Hmm, it's got like a sweet chorizo type flavor to, to the pork, to the pastor. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like cinnamon-like. Uh, I'm not that into the sweetness in tacos. This one's probably not my favorite, but it's still pretty good. Definitely like the other one though, the first one, the carne asada one. This is still a decent pork taco. Now when I went to pick up these tacos, there was a small line to wait outside. It wasn't that long. I saw surfers coming in and stuff, and there was a sign there that said, no shoes, no shirt, no service. And then on top of that, they said, plus masks, no masks, no service. For the third and final taco, we got the Camarón taco here, the last hot sauce. Yeah, the hot sauce was underwhelming, guys, but I'm sure they have other ones that are better. So this has shrimp, lettuce, avocado. Let's try it out, and cheese, too. We also got some tomatoes in here. This is a very decent taco. I actually prefer the carne asada one out of all the three. This would be number two, and then the pastor is number three. So this, yeah, this is okay. It's not bad. So that's it for the taco stand in La Jolla. Once again, there's three locations. You got La Jolla, Encinitas, and downtown. This is number four because it's a great place to go to, especially if you're uh, visiting the beaches in La Jolla or La Jolla Cove. Now let's move on to the number three taco in best taco shops in San Diego. Next on the list, number three is City Tacos. City Tacos has seven locations throughout San Diego, so if you're visiting from out of town, it's spread out from the first one in La Mesa all the way to Imperial Beach, and this one near my house here in Sereno Valley, which is in the business park. So City Tacos is family owned, and I met the owner in Imperial Beach, and his son actually runs this location here in Sereno Valley. So let's go home, I already got my bag, boom. All these tacos, gonna bring them home. Right now we're going through the pandemic. So if you're watching this after, you can actually even dine in here. But right now they're only doing takeout. And yeah, we got my mask and everything. It's pretty empty right now, but I'm telling you, this place fills up and this place has some really good stuff. I'm gonna bring them home to the parents and uh, try it out. Also guys, what are your favorite taco shops in San Diego? Comment below. All right, Jcationers, it's eating time. So we're back here in my house. Got to find the best place for lighting during the time of the day. So I'm filming this around 2.45 in the afternoon and the second room is the best room to have it. So first up, I'm gonna try out the Mexicali, which is the carne based taco. Um, it's actually, the Mexicali is grilled Angus steak, onions and poblano peppers over melted asadero cheese and mashed potatoes. So that's pretty interesting. So that's what I like about city tacos is that they implement some pretty unique ingredients into their tacos. They don't go straight traditional even though they do have traditional tacos. It's moderately priced. Uh, this Mexicali was $3.75. It's definitely a little more than you would get at a Taco Taco but the quality is definitely way better. The Mexicali is also finished with a crema fresca and cotija cheese sprinkle. 
And of course, gotta have the Corona Extra. Enough talking, now let's get to trying. Number one of three tacos that I'm gonna be trying today. And it's also on a flour tortilla. And the tortilla is actually pretty big. Oh yeah, this is what's up. Mmm, the steak. This is some of the best steak that I've had. And the two cheeses that they mix in. The cotija cheese sprinkle, the white cheese sprinkle, along with this melted cheese. Ooh, this, it makes this taco. And then the poblano peppers. Oh, uh, it brings a different type of texture to it with the onions. Uh, this is probably my favorite taco in City Tacos. You can also taste the mashed potatoes in there. Not too much, but it's in there. Mexicali is the winner. As for the hot sauce, they do have a chipotle hot sauce that I didn't get this time around because you can't go into the, the salsa bar. But the red sauce, I would give it a 3 out of 5 peppers. Next up here for City Tacos is the Carnitas Taco. This guy. And they do pack in the meat, so that's really good. The carnitas tacos are slow cooked pork carnitas topped with cilantro, onion, guacamole, and a crunchy chicharron, which is a pork grind. This actually only goes for $3. There's a lot of meat stuffed into this corn tortilla. For this taco, we're actually gonna go with the green sauce. It's gonna be a little more citrusy flavor. So here's the carnitas taco. Mmm, wow. It's a really good taco. Even though they have the chicharron here, I'm gonna eat it separately. Love their guac. Love the citrusy flavors to it. Of course, the onion and cilantro put a little, put the traditional flavor into it. That's some good stuff. I do like the carnitas taco, but I still have to say the Mexicali with the Angus beef steak is definitely the best. The final taco we're gonna be trying out today here for City Tacos is the Camarón Enchilado. The Camarón Enchilado has grilled shrimp with chili de arbol, tomato, onion, cilantro over a bed of melted asadero cheese, finished with lime and chipotle aioli. Let's try out the third and final taco. I'm gonna go with the red sauce because I love red sauce. That's my go-to. I don't usually go with the green sauce that much. So this is the Camarón Enchilado. Oh yeah, that chipotle sauce. Oh yeah, that's what's up. These shrimps are decently sized, but it's all in the ingredients here. And if you like chipotle flavor, this is a great taco. I love shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos are like, I would almost get a shrimp taco over a fish taco. We're gonna be doing a top five fish tacos video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is, I would say this is number two. Oh man, that was a great taco. Definitely number two. The Mexicali gets number one. Make sure to wash it down with a Corona Extra Tecate or whatever Mexican beer you prefer. I also ordered stuff for my parents and they're gonna be eating that a little later. They actually have side orders in City Tacos and I got my mom the frijoles veggie. Our pinto beans with oaxa and cotija cheeses, tomato, onion, cilantro, and grilled cebolitas. And now it's time to move on to the number two taco shop in San Diego. JJ, a couple of days from now, Take it away. All right, Jaycationers, so we've made it to our number two taco shop in all of San Diego, Las Cuatro Milpas, here in Barrio Logan. I picked up a few things. We're gonna try it out. I'm probably gonna try to find a park and grub over there, but yes, this place is only open from 8.30 to 3 p.m. Monday to Friday, and 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays, and on Sundays it's closed. So make sure you come here during the day. And right now, the line's not bad. So yeah, let's go try these out. They're a little different from the tacos we've been trying. They're still tacos, but it's so good, it had to make this top five list. Unfortunately, a lot of the parks I wanted to go to to sit down and eat these roll tacos by the bay, they're open, but the parking lots are still closed. So I just parked here by Petco Park. You gotta eat these tacos while they're crunchy. They're different tacos because they're uh, hard shell tacos. I'm going to the Padre store anyway, so we're gonna try out these tacos. We're gonna try the rolled taco. I actually got three rolled tacos. They gave me one packet of red sauce. I think that's their standard. And they're really simple over there. What they give you is what they, what they give you. So this rolled taco has some cheese, some sauce on it, and lettuce, and it just looks delicious. Ooh, and it's like more of an oily type hot sauce. So I'm gonna try to do this in the car without spilling. Here's the rolled taco from Las Cuatro Milpas. Oh man, that is amazing. The cheese on this is just fantastic. Take a look at that. Mmm, 
their hot sauce actually has some real kick to it. Oh my god. Yep. Now this is a beef roll taco. The tacos that they have, the actual hard shell tacos, they only have pork or chicken. I think I got the pork. And I also got a special tamale because the tamales there I heard are out of this world. So if you're ever near downtown in Barrio Logan, it's only open during the day. So if you get there at three o'clock, you're out of luck. That's a win. We got a fork here. The lettuce with the mix with the sauce. Oh, it's so good. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I have tons of content coming from San Diego. So stay tuned for that. Comment below, what's your favorite taco shops in San Diego? I'd like to know about it. Number two, Las Cuatro Milpas is on point. Next on the list is this hard shell taco. Look how amazing that looks. They really pack in the pork in here. It's got the cheese with a ton of meat in the inside of this and lettuce. I'm gonna throw some of the hot sauce up in here. Check that out. See the beef in there? Ooh wee. Mmm, wow. That is a fried, mmm, that's a winner. Look how much meat there is in that. Uh, I'm just making a mess here. I definitely don't suggest eating in the car, but under the circumstances, with the pandemic, might be better off. See that? Just felt right out. Wow, amazing. Another great thing about Las Cuatro's Milpas is that I only paid $7.65 for the entire meal. That's three rolled tacos, one pork taco, and one hot tamale. We'll try the tamale at home because I feel like we can reheat that at home. Yeah, let's fast forward to JJ at home. As you probably noticed from number three to number two, the mustache is gone. Just had to get rid of it. Two months max, it was about time. It'll come back in November. Uh, I'm gonna finish up the Las Cuatro Milpas review. I got the rest of the taco that I didn't finish in the car and the tamale. I know this is not a tamale video, but this is my special, this is my wild card for this place. This hot sauce on the pepper scale definitely will get a five out of five from me. This is definitely the best hot sauce that I've had in this entire food video. They gave me some lemon, so I'm gonna put some lemon on the tamale and the rest of this taco. And since this taco is just ruined, you know, sorry, I just gotta eat it like this now. Mmm, so good. Oh my God, it's even better. Wow, now time for the tamale. The tamale is not as hot as I want it to be, even though I heated it up, but it's still really good. And it's just packed with beef. You know what, I'm gonna get dirty and show you, look. Look at that, packed with beef. I dip it in the hot sauce. Oh yeah, put some lemon in it. All in all, Las Cuatro Milpas had to make it onto the top five taco shops list of San Diego, even though I didn't follow the carne asada taco and the pork taco for number two, but it's that good that it makes number two on this list. For only $7.60, what? A deal. So guys, we're here at the Tacos del Gordo. This is the original one. It's still closed due to the pandemic. So we're gonna go to the one in Broadway. So that Tacos del Gordo was closed. That's the original one off of H Street. There's another location off of Broadway. We're gonna head to that one and that one's open. All right, Jay Kishners, we finally made it. It's the furthest place from where I live. The number one taco shop in all of San Diego, Tacos El Gordo. Now there's multiple locations around San Diego. There's one here on Broadway, one on H Street, and there's one opening in downtown San Diego. So if you're seeing this video and everything's open back up, hopefully the one in downtown's open. But this is our number one spot. It's very popular. They even have locations in Las Vegas. You, what you do is you go inside, you line up, they have the names of the tacos at each area. You've got a social distance. Gracias, thank you. That's it, thank you. <laughs> Say hi. Hola. <laughs> now if you want an adobada taco, you have to line up at the adobada taco line. If you want a carne asada taco, you gotta line up at that line. It's all pretty organized and I spent 21 bucks for me and my parents for tonight's dinner and it's right here. So let's flash forward to JJ at home for the final time. And unfortunately, JJ at home doesn't have a mustache anymore either. So for the number one tacos, we got three tacos, the carne asada, the adobada, and the chorizo. Like you've been doing, I'm gonna start off with, let's start off with the adobada. Now they offer green and red sauce. I never really go with green, 
So I got this red sauce here. You can see that red sauce right there. So this also has some guacamole in it. Let's try it out. Mm. Nothing beats Tacos El Gordo. Wow. Amazing. Putting a lime on it does everything. Oh, the meat's so good too. Tacos El Gordo is about 10 minutes from the border, maybe even closer. So this is the closest to TJ Tacos you can get without stepping foot in the TJ. And I tell you what, this is some good stuff. I'm having a Juice Stand Hazy IPA from Ailsmith. Next up, the carne asada. Sprinkle that lime on it. I love the carne asada meat here. It's top of the line, but I would go with the adobada. That's the that's the best one I had. The size of the tacos are about normal size. They're not too big, not too small, and they do pack it in with the meat. It's just perfect. I love it, and the price range is is on point. I think it's only like 275 per taco. Also, shout out to the cooks over there. They're really cool. When I was filming, they're like, "Oh, YouTube, that's awesome," and they wanted to pose for pictures and stuff. So that was cool. Now, last but not least, is the chorizo. Looks like they doubled up on the uh, tortilla. It's probably because they packed so much meat in it. Hmm. Yes. So this would be number three for Tacos El Gordo. Number two would be the carne asada. And number one is the adobada taco. Mm-hmm. Got some good stuff. This hazy IPA really pairs nicely with the tacos. Well, guys, there you go. That is weeks of trying the top five taco shops in San Diego. I started with a mustache and ended clean shaven. All right, Jaycationers. So that's it for the top five taco shops in San Diego, California. What's your favorite tacos in San Diego? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I have plenty of San Diego content to come. So please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you want to support me more and see more videos like this in the future, please support me at Patreon. I put that in the link below. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.